Okay, this is Lisa, and I'm going to show you today how to make a design in Adobe Illustrator that we can use to cut out um, vinyl designs. So, first thing I'm going to do is open Adobe Illustrator. I'm assuming that you've already downloaded and installed this software and that you have a username and password to get into it. So, at that point, you can just open it and click over here on New, or you can go to File, New. So either way, and we're not going to worry about the options here, we're just going to click OK and open a new document. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I have this Type tool selected, and I'm just going to click on the document and type in the words that I want. Now if it's really small or I want to resize it, I can just click on the Selection tool and drag it. I can go wider taller, or if I would like to keep the standard ratio of width to height, I can hold down the shift key and drag from the corner and that will keep the ratios. Now I'm just going to get back in my text tool and highlight these words and I'm going to pick a font. Now the font you pick will just depend on your preference. Maybe try to make it um, consistent with the feeling of the quote. Um, I'm just going to come down here and see if I can find something that I like. Okay, I like this marker felt, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now, um, I decided that I'm going to put this on two lines so I'm going to delete the space between it and push enter and have the happy birthday on two separate lines. Um, I also would like to have this centered so I'm going to highlight all the words and click on the align center button and that will align the text centered with itself. Now there's a few other things that you can do here. I've got this character window open and if this window is ever not open you can go over here to window come down here to type and check the character box um, if you Jenny's would like to here. Up. Okay, great, thank you. Um, you can... Oh, no, not Jenny, um, Savannah. Okay, thank you. You can click on this character um, if you, if that doesn't or automatically show up and as long as that is checked you'll have this character thing. Now, um, what, so a couple things you can do here is you can stretch the text. For example, if I want the distance between the two lines to be larger, I can make this number bigger. If I want it to be smaller, I can make this number smaller. So for example, if I highlight this text and make this 100 points, then you can see that the gap between the two lines is larger than if I have it like 70. Okay, So I like how that looks, so I'm going to go ahead and impose that onto a background. Now each of you has access to a Dropbox folder that has backgrounds. I already have some on my computer, so I'm going to just go ahead and open one that I have. You probably have a downloads folder on your computer that they automatically go into. And um, so you can open a picture from that. Now I'm going to come back over to my words. I'm going to highlight them and then push Command C if I'm on a Mac or Control C on. Um, a PC and that will copy it and then I can come over here and command V or control V depending on what kind of computer I'm on to paste it in. And then you can see I can put it up there on the wall. I can change the size of it by again holding the shift key down and dragging the corner. Now you'll want to make sure that you find um, a background that matches what you're wanting to do. This may be not the best example because it's just a bedroom and it looks like I put happy birthday permanently on the wall. When it would maybe make more sense to put it in a dining room where there's um, crepe paper and 
decorations and things like that so that they know, oh, this is something you can use for a birthday celebration. Um, but here it is on the wall right here. I also can change the color of it if I would like to. We have 22 colors that we put our vinyl in. And um, shading on different pictures is different, so it's likely that what you pick will be similar to one of the colors that we have, similar enough that it will work. And we have um, a color chart for customers to choose from. So I can um, pick a color from in here, click OK, and then you can see that that changed the color of the happy birthday. If I want to choose a color from inside the picture, I can highlight it and then click on the dropper. And then you can see if I click off of that, now I have happy birthday in a color. That seems a little bit dark to me. I probably would just lighten it up a little bit. Keep it in the same family. There you have it. Happy birthday on the wall that matches the room. Um, then the next thing I want to do is change the size of my artboard. Now we want to make sure we make it squared because the pictures in Etsy will display the best if they are squared. Okay. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and change it up here. We want it to be 800 points or larger. That's right. It could be up to a thousand, eight hundred to a thousand. Okay. I'm just going to zoom out a little bit so I can get a better look. So you can see I made this artboard that's eight hundred by eight hundred. And everything that I can see inside this dotted line is what is going to be displayed. Um, if I don't like how that looks, I can just kind of drag my picture till I get the look that I want. You can also, you can drag things separately. So I can drag the bedroom and then I can drag the happy birthday. Just make them look just how I want it to look. Okay. Then I go to File, Save As. And you're going to want to make sure you save your document with keywords describing what it is and what we're selling. So for this, I would put happy birthday, a special occasion, a vinyl wall decal. Okay, and you can see it has keywords. It is separated by dashes. There's no capital letters, and there's no symbols in it you can see here and I'll click save now if you're doing quotes you're gonna to want to make sure that you have the name of the person in there um, and um, at least some of the quote if it's a really long one you won't be able to fit the whole quote in so then I'm gonna go ahead and click OK and now I have saved my illustrator version of this picture that is the editable file that I will need to be able to cut that out on the vinyl machine. Now we need to save a copy of this picture for use on websites. To do that we will go file, save for web, and um, it actually does, the picture is actually bigger than that, it's just that on this I have it zoomed and see if I zoom out a little bit I'll be able to see the full picture that was just the actual size so here's my picture I can see that it is still 800 by 800 pixels if I need to change that this is not going to be where you can crop it but you can just change the size um, it's not a good idea to change it bigger at this point because we don't want it to get pixelated but say that I had this picture and it was like 1500 pixels by 1500 pixels and I wanted to move it down to 800 I want to make sure that this is selected if it's broken like this then that means that it won't keep the ratios um, if it's clicked then it will keep the ratios so I could for example move this to 700 and it will change the width and the height in relation to each other 
I don't want to do that. I liked it at 800, so I'm going to go ahead and move it back. I'm going to make sure JPG, JPEG, I guess, is selected right here so that I have a JPEG file that I'm saving, and then I will click Save. I don't need to rename it because the name is already there, and I'll click Save, and then I am done with this image. The next thing that I will need to do is I'll just need to record the image. So I'm going to go back here to the original and I'm going to figure out what sizes we can print this in. Now remember that one direction um, on the vinyl cutter can only be as large as 22 inches. The other direction we don't have a limit on the size. Um, we can break up images if we need to. If you get to a point where you have a, like a square image or a really awkward shaped one that you need to um, break it into two pieces, you can um, talk to me about that specific case and I can help you with that. So up here, let's see. Okay, I'm going to make sure I have a certain window here. If I don't have this transform window open, then I'm going to go ahead and open it. And if you have it where it's talking about points instead of inches, what you'll need to do is you'll need to go to View, Rulers, Show Rulers, I can click on this bar here by push, pushing control click or right clicking if I'm on a PC and changing it to inches. And then you can see, I can see the size of this in inches. So I'm going to go ahead and make this um, a few different sizes. I want it to be able to be 12 inches wide. And if it is 12 inches wide, it looks like it's going to be almost 8 inches tall. So I will go to my um, Google Drive document. I'm just going to go ahead and put this on Tamara's, but you will each have your own. You will put in here the item number that Maria assigned to it. You'll put here what the design is. And then we'll put here sizes. So it's 12 inches wide by 8 inches tall. We always put the width before the height. Okay, then I'm going to try again in 18, and that makes it about 18 by, it's really right at 11 and a half, so I'm going to say 11 and a half. So we'll say 18 inches by 11 and a half inches. You can round, but if it's that close to half, obvious, um, oftentimes I, mean, I will just go ahead and put half. If I make this 24 inches wide, it is 15 inches tall. If I make it, we'll go up to three feet at this point. 36 inches wide, it's 23. Okay, I can't quite do it that big, so I'm just going to go down a little bit and say if I do it by 34 inches, it could be 21. So 34 by 21 inches, and that's fine. You can do, that. oops, 22. It's almost 22. Okay, so now I have my design. I've saved the two versions of the picture, the AI and the JPEG. I have come here and I've recorded it. Um, and now I'm going to upload the picture to my Dropbox. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and put this in Tamara's again here. When she goes into Dropbox, she can add a, she can upload a file. And I'll just come under here. So I'm going to upload the JPEG and also the AI file, which I guess I didn't pay attention to where that was saved. So let me go back in here and find out where it was saved. Oh, it went in downloads. Okay, so I should probably be a little bit more careful about making sure those are in places. 
consistent places on my computer. But here is the file. So I'm going to go ahead and open that. So you can see I have the JPEG version of Happy Birthday and the AI version. And when that is done uploading, which sometimes it takes a little bit longer for the AI files because they can be quite big. As you can see here, this is 65 megabytes. So we'll go ahead and let that finish uploading. slow. Okay. Just a minute, I'm almost done. Okay. Just taking a minute for this file to upload. Okay, once that's done, I can see that I've got the two versions here. I can also look at this picture and grab the link, just copy the link and paste it in right here so that it's easy to find. And I'll put here that yes, this design is completed and ready to put on the site. So um, that's all you need to do.